If you're currently in the market to buy a new home, you'll definitely want to hear this important message about virtual home tours. So stay tuned. What's up, y'all? I'm Rachel Hadizes. I'm a realtor with Crylike in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. I post new videos every week about all things real estate in the Murfreesboro area. While the current pandemic of COVID-19 has left uncertainty in many of our lives, the housing market here has remained stable. Here in Murfreesboro, we have seen a slight decrease in the amount of homes listed, but those that need to move can still get to where they need to go. In light of the current situation, with many people opting to stay at home, I'd like to give you some tips for virtual house hunting and virtual home tours, whether you live in the Murfreesboro area or not. Tip number one, you'll want to look closely at the listing photos and the descriptions. While looking at photos online is not the same as viewing in person, you can still start to narrow down your options. However, pictures can be deceiving. Here are some red flags to look out for in the listing descriptions. The first red flag to look for, no interior photos. While it could mean that the homeowner just hasn't had their professional photos taken, they could also be hiding something like poor home maintenance. That is not something that you wanna end up with. The second red flag to look out for are keywords such as needs TLC, cozy, or vintage. Translated in realtor talk, that means needs work, small, and dated. The third red flag to look out for in the listing description is in the photos if the curtains or the blinds are closed. Typically, when we're taking professional photos, we want to have all the light sources that are available. We'll have them open all their curtains and blinds. So if they're keeping those closed, they may be hiding a poor view. If you have any concerns about the photos or the listing descriptions, go ahead and contact your awesome local realtor and we can address these concerns before taking the time to tour the home. The second tip I have for virtual house hunting is to go ahead and do the research on the neighborhood and the surrounding areas. Where the home is located is almost as important as the home itself. Before you take the time to tour the home, go ahead and check out things like affordability, amenities in the community, as well as safety. Before you tour the home, you'll want to know, do any access points tend to flood in heavy rain? Additionally, you'll want to know, what is the commute to work like? Is that within your means to travel? If you have children, you'll want to know in advance what schools the neighborhood is zoned for and or any daycare providers in the area. If you've already chosen a great local realtor to work with, this is something that they're more than happy to help provide you with. If you're able to, take a quick tour of the neighborhood. You'll be able to learn more about the neighborhood, such as general road conditions, cleanliness, quality of the homes, and more, just by a quick drive through And the third tip, now we're on to the process of virtual home tours. Something you should know about virtual home tours is that not every realtor in our area offers them. Is the realtor that you've interviewed still operating on an iPhone 4? That is not going to provide you with the best picture quality for the home that you're looking for. In fact, any smartphone is not going to be able to compare with the technology of a 360 camera. That's why I've recently acquired this Insta 361 to be able to show my clients as much of an in-person tour of the home as possible. This option is great for you as it provides you as an opportunity to do a walkthrough of the home without putting you or your family in harm's way with COVID-19. During the tour, I'll be very thorough. We'll look in all rooms, closets, and pantries. I'll show you all the important details, such as additions from a renovation, moldings, or recent updates. The more details you can see on your virtual tour, the better your experience will be. When the virtual tour is over, you'll have a better feel for the space and setup of the home. At that point, you may be ready to make an offer or do an in-person tour to make absolute certain that this is the home for you. 
Coming up next, you'll also want to check out my video on how to buy a home during a pandemic. It goes through the entire process of buying a home remotely. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. I've got more to tell you every week about real estate in the Murfreesboro area, so I'll see you at the next video.